Hello everybody, this is Nikhil Naka. I wish you a happy and a wonderful new year 2020. So the first announcement in this uh, new and wonderful year is for the students uh, who are preparing for this TSS uh, notification, additional assistant engineer examination. Notification was released in uh, 2019, uh, just uh, one month back. And uh, the exam is scheduled on 19th January. That means now we are on the 1st January. Today the, the date of recording of this video is 1st January. That means you are having around 18 days for this examination. Hardly two and a half weeks you are having. So in this short period of time to crack this exam, I am going to present you a best and a most genuine means to crack this exam in a short span of time. That is our RLC Education presents an online test series for this TSS examination. And I will be explaining what are the features of this online test series and how this particular test series will help you in cracking this exam in this two and a half weeks of time and what are the contents and key features of this particular course. If you talk about this notification and the posts, as you know, there are 13 number of posts, total posts are 13 posts and out of them one post is an open category post. That means any student from any part of Telangana state can participate in this exam to get, crack this one post. But whereas the remaining uh, 12 out of 13 posts are only for the students who are local to this particular organization. That is around, uh, there are some five districts given, isn't it? Kamaridi, Sirisilla, Rajana and all these uh, districts you can see in the notification. Or I have explained which districts or which parts are local for this particular examination in my previous video regarding explanation about uh, notification. Alright, so number of posts are less. Okay, that is one thing. And the next aspect is the eligibility for this exam is both diploma or B.Tech or B.E. B.Tech students are eligible. Diploma guys or graduate guys. Anybody who has done in Tribli, only Tribli. I have been getting frequent calls from students who have done some courses like ECE or instrumentation, EIE. Are we eligible sir? No, 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 you are not eligible. Only Tribli guys are eligible for this particular examination. And if you look at the syllabus, the syllabus is like a diploma level syllabus. So, which I, I kind of tempting also. So, you are having less number of posts. So, that is one thing. And another extreme point is that the syllabus is diploma. So, this is where the trick is. You feel that syllabus is easy, but the number of posts are less. We don't know who will get or who will not. And the other thing, what will happen is, when the syllabus is easy, that is when a real uh, talented student starts making mistake. Because if a student is really talented or he knows a lot of subject and he is good at subject. Basically the easy syllabus or easy questions what they do is they will tend to manipulate our human mind on the moment of examination. So let us say when you see that particular question a sudden super confidence rises in your mind and uh, it starts you know it starts telling you not to read the total question. Hey you know this question. Put the answer. And you will see the option and you will find one option which you like. You will tick and go. You will go very confidently when you come out of the exam. Then you will see you are not getting the expected result. That basically happens with any competitive exam if the paper is very easy. The same thing may happen over here also. So under this condition, under this condition, the cutoff levels will also go very high. That means in order to secure seat out of this 13 or 1 seat if you are from other place, your marks should be as per my expectation. If total marks is 100, you must get 95 plus, then only selection is guaranteed. If there is a local guy, 92 plus or 90 plus must be there. Don't have any hopes if you are getting less than 90, 85 or 80. This is the fact because the students who are competing for this diploma level exam are diploma students as well as B.Tech students. Students are nowadays preparing a lot and the number of posts is less. Definitely the cutoff or the maximum marks that you have to be getting is definitely a 90 figure and if a non-local guy 95 plus a local guy 92 plus is what my expectation just observing the previous trend let us say uh, we have seen TSNPD cell sub engineer examination the other the last year that's what happened exactly so under such tight constraints I personally feel that this particular course which I'm going to announce online test is will definitely prove beneficiary who is very serious about this examination. So talking about uh, the aspects or the key features of this course, there are two important things about this particular course which I'm announcing now. There will be five subject wise tests. Why, why subject wise test only five? If you look at the syllabus, the entire syllabus has been breaked up into five parts. So this five subject test also will be in the lines of the notification syllabus. How they have breaked up those syllabus? 
in the same way you are going to have you will be going to have the five subject wise tests and each subject test is going to be of 100 questions that is 100 mark okay so 100 into 5 you will be touching how many questions 500 questions in this first part now next aspect is the three grand test will be there three grand test in the sense total syllabus examination pattern 80 marks technical 20 marks non-technical so here you are going to touch 100 into 3 300 mcqs 300 mcqs so totally in both the tests how many mcqs you are going to go through 800 mcq 800 mcqs and these 800 mcqs which you are going to you know go through in this course are not just ordinary mcqs but rather i can confidently say they can be also called as the most expected mcqs out of my seven years of teaching experience and uh, dealing with this kind of PSUs or local Telangana or Andhra Pradesh uh, papers, uh, I can uh, confidently say that you will be expecting all the most expected MCQs only in this 800 questions. Definitely, definitely they will be helpful for you in your real time examination. And also for all the technical questions over here, anyhow in this three grand test you are going to have 20 plus 20 plus 20, 60 non-technical questions. Leaving 60 non-technical questions, technical are going to be 240 number of questions. So 240 technical here and uh, 500 here. That means 740 technical questions. For each and every question, you are going to have a video solution series also. And the video solution series is going to be the exam wise. Let us say you write the first uh, subject test. For the first subject test, you will be having a complete video series. And uh, the length of each video is supposed to be around 1.5 hours approximately 1.5 it could be less or it could be more than 1.5 also so into 8 so approximately 12 hours so you are going to have total 12 hours of video learning content video content is going to be there so in this upcoming what you say 18 days each subject test is going to be of around one hour so you are going to have five hours of spending over here and grand test will be of two hours three grand tests so you are going to have a six hours of uh, spending over here so 5 plus 6, 11 hours on the test you are going to spend and around 12 hours you are going to spend learning the video solutions. That means you are going to have totally 23 hours of learning from our platform tentatively. So if you could plan properly these 23 hours, so 23 hours means here again you are supposed to make some notes also. So it may not be exactly 12 hours of learning, video content is 12, add up 6 hours of more add plus 6 hours for making notes and other things you are going to have 29 hours of learning so if you could properly plan 29 hours in this upcoming 18 days definitely your chances of scoring will increase maybe you have prepared better now but at least this, this test series will help you to at least increase your score by at least 2 marks because under this kind of tight constraints in this examination one mark will help you to jump many ranks I, I hope you know all these things so around 29 hours is going to be the learning approximately in this particular course. So immediately some questions start shooting out. Sir, you are providing just 8 grand tests. Are they enough? So maybe most of you preparing might be having prepared for gate examination or other examinations. And many of you might be having experience uh, taking other online test series for any other examinations. So generally when you take sub test series or something like that. Generally, you find all the popular institutes providing all the test series. You will be seeing that 30 tests, 40 tests, 50 tests, 60 tests. Like that, more than 10, more than 20 tests will be there in the test series. So, let me ask you one question, one genuine question. You genuinely, you have to answer that. Out of that 50 tests or 60 tests, how many tests have you properly utilized? Properly utilized, that is what I mean. 100%. Definitely the counting will be less than 10 or around 10 only. So basically having more number of tests would won't prove beneficial to you except to attract more number of public to gain more revenue. But that is not my target. My target is to hit the bullseye. So don't waste time because time is a very important resource in a competitive exam preparation. I will just give you what is necessary and what is a gold. So 8 grand tests are enough over here which I am providing the number of questions. And next, when you talk about video solution series, 12 hours of video solution series, this is going to be the most important highlight of this course because just uh, by taking these 100 questions as a window, I will be exploring the entire subject. The entire subject will be revised. 
maybe the concept which you might have not learnt in your preparation might be helpful. So such kind of benefits you can be getting out of this course. Now I will be announcing the schedule of this particular grand test on what day, what test is going to be there and the syllabus details. So the first test is going to start from tomorrow onwards that is 2nd January. So on 2nd January your exam, the first test is going to be on electrical machines and it will be of as I told you 100 marks examination and when you talk about the syllabus, the syllabus will be from transformers and that too in transformers it is only about uh, single phase transformers and uh, for three phase transformers uh, there is nothing uh, special in the syllabus. From three phase transformers the only thing that you must be concentrating is the voltage and current relations in three phase transform because three phase transformer means you will be having star winding and delta winding. And in star connection, line voltage is equal to root 3 times of phase voltage and line current is equal to phase current. See in delta connection, line voltage equal to phase voltage, line current is equal to root 3 times of the phase currents. So based on these relations, what is going to be the transformation ratio, such sort of aspects, only that much, nothing else in 3 phase uh, transformers, so up to that. And uh, again you are having generators, DC generators and motors. So here this is another subject in electrical machines and in three phase induction motors also you are going to cover entire thing and uh, single phase induction motors and commutator motors or simply speaking all these AC series motor, universal motor, uh, induction motor, such kind of motors. So this is going to be the syllabus of electrical machines and no synchronous machines. Please keep this point in mind as per the syllabus. Okay. And the, the next test is going to be a, a day after that means second is going to the machines, third nothing and fourth is going to be switch gear and protection. So in switch gear and protection, there are mainly two things. First thing is faults and switching apparatus. That means mainly about fuses, circuit breakers, basically about all types of circuit breakers and devices which are used for protection like lightning arresters, etc. and etc. And then next you are having protective relays. That means you will be starting studying about the protection schemes and the relays. So what are the different types of relays, uh, definitions associated with it, primary relay, backup relay, induction type relay, merge protection, differential protection, bus bar protection, so on and so forth, these kind of things. And uh, the next exam is going to be again the day after, that means on 6th January. 6th January you are going to be having exam on transmission and distribution. So here also in transmission and distribution, main concentration will be on mechanical uh, designing of transmission lines and uh, electrical designing of transmission lines. So what is a mechanical design of transmission line is what are the mechanical things that you generally see in a transmission line. You see conductors, you see insulators, you see line supports that is poles or towers and uh, other aspects associated with it. Now when you have stringing a conductor on the transmission line it will be subjected to SAG. So what are the SAG calculations and such sort of things. Okay, And then you are having electrical designing of transmission line. Electrical designing of transmission line is nothing but Converting that physical transmission line into an electrical circuit. What is electrical circuit? Combination of some electrical parameters. What are the electrical parameters? R, L, C, G. So writing a big transmission line in the form of a resistor, inductor, capacitor or leakage resistance G is what electrical designing and organizing them according to the length, short, medium, long and doing the analysis or performance of the lines. Performance of transmission lines in the sense finding out of the voltage regulation and the efficiency and then you are having types of insulators and substations, substation designs, earthing of substations and all these things. What are the main components of substations? Such questions will be involved. Again you are having cable and distribution systems that is underground cables, construction of underground cables, types of underground cables, insulation resistance of underground cables and again distribution systems, different types of distribution systems what are the differences among them, such set of things will be there. Mainly there will be only involvement of theoretical questions, very little amount of problem will be there. Okay, And then the fourth test is going to be on measuring instruments and electric circuits. Measuring instruments and electric circuits. So basically measuring instrument is alone a big subject and uh, circuits is alone a big subject. Here measuring instrument is going to have 50 questions. So uh, one correction is there over here, only one test will be having extra 50 questions that is this measuring instruments and electric circuits because measuring instruments is a relatively very small topic, 50 questions are enough to cover entire electrical me measuring instruments but circuits is a little bit a big chapter. 
So 100 questions will be there from electric circuits. So overall fourth test will be of 150 questions and the duration will also be around one and a half hour or one hour 45 minutes something like that. And uh, in electric circuits no need to go about theorems or DC circuits. Main focus on AC circuits only. Uh, complex numbers, fundamentals, uh, representation of a AC wave, what is the general equation and again uh, single phase series circuits and again parallel circuits, resonance, power factor, active power, reactive power, such sort of things and uh, basics of three phase star and delta systems. Okay, And again fifth chapter is going to be utilization of electrical engineering and again this is a very you know like I can say a very tricky subject. It is basically easy but many students find it very uh, irritating because there is no proper source not even textually or on the YouTube or any other online platform. And uh, I am very proud to say that I am the first on YouTube I could say to make successive courses on utilization of electrical energy and many students over the country have significantly benefited from my lectures. So here the main aspects are like electric drives, illumination, heating and welding. So these are the aspects that you will be covering in utilization of electrical engineering and uh, around uh, 100 questions as I told you will be there. So this is about uh, total 5 subject wise tests and uh, later on you will be having all the grand tests. So as I was telling you the dates, dates will be you know on 2nd machines, on 4th switch gear and protection and on 6th transmission and on 8th January measuring instruments and electric circuits and on 10th January you will be having the utilization of electrical energy. Again after 10th January two days gap will be given that is 11th and 12th is gap and again on 13th your grand test is going to start. So 13th grand test 1, 15th grand test 2, 17th grand test 3. So that means two days before the exam your entire course is going to be completed that means your revision your practicing is going to be completed. So one day before exam you just cover out wherever you are weak or do whatever you want or just chill out that last day or prepare for journey next day if your exam is somewhere far away. So like this uh, going to be the schedule of this particular course. Now when you talk about the pricing of this course, this course has got such a wonderful uh, amount of content and it is priced at rupees 299. But for the first 50 registrations you will be getting flat 50% off. So the coupon code that you have to be using is first 50. So when you use this coupon code first 50, you will be getting it at reduced price that is 1498. So this is going to be the pricing after 50% discount for the first 50 students. And when you talk about the validity of the course, it will be valid from two for two months from the date of purchase. Whenever you may purchase, it will be valid for up to two months of time. And you will be having access to all these tests and uh, video solution series. And uh, where you have to take this course means just log into www.rlceducation.com. So this is our website and this website is basically under construction. It is not completely constructed. So when you log into the website, on the top of the website you find two boxes. One box saying login and the other box saying sign up. Okay, sign up. So if you are a first time user, you just come onto the website and go to the sign up and you sign up and you will be taken into another login page and there you can find the course and on the, on the course you can just, uh, you can just purchase, you can click the course, there will be an option for entering the coupon code, enter first 50 and make the payment online and then and there it will be activated. So once uh, it's activated, you will be directed back to the course page and there you can start accessing the test from tomorrow. And uh, if you want to log in again, then come to rlseducation.com and click on login. You will be asked for your uh, user ID, password, credentials and all. And then you can uh, start accessing the course. So this is going to be the how to uh, access to this course, the non-technical aspects. Okay. Thank you for watching and I hope most of you will take benefit of this course.